game types than we would normally see. But to be honest, we don't have too much time to talk about it because we are right back into the game. If you're just joining us here at HCS Charlotte, first of all, welcome along to the stream. We're checking out things on the featured station here. A little bit of red zone action to jump into gameplay from across the venue. It's Optic Gaming 2-1 to one over Shopify Rebellion now as we get in to Oddball on Live Fire. All right, Shopify have a much better start this time around. They win the Sway's department, this overshield probably in their control, I would have to assume, but as multiple members of Optic Gaming are leaving the Overshield location, you have to think that maybe Shopify continued their power-up, poor power-up control here early in this game. Optic Gaming, although down in Sways, up 10 in the objective and currently control where the Oddball is located, so even though they don't have the Sways to play around, somehow still Optic control the rhythm and the flow of the game. Yeah, as they tend to do here on Oddball, one thing we talked about yesterday that we saw at day number one was really just the speed at which Optic Gaming is rotating, not just the rotations that they're taking, but oftentimes it's APG at the helm, really rotating seconds before the rotate is even necessary. So on maps like Recharge, on maps like Streets, you will see them pick apart a team, sometimes in 2v4s because of those great rotates. We're going to keep a very close eye on their objective rotations in this game as well. They lead 24-0. to Ryan Noob just made one hell of a play right there to stay alive and not let APG take him down. Because of it, he's able to take down the ball carrier. We switch to his point of view. He's getting a double, and he's being so disruptive. One of those few things that we talk about when we talk about Ryan Noob is how disruptive his gameplay can be to a team's flow, to their rhythm, to the actual gameplay at hand. Because he stays alive, he's able to make a play, and he's already impacted in game four. Optics lead cut short to just 14 points at this time. And what do you know, another overshield going into Optics hands. This is where the first round could get blown open because Shopify continue to trip over themselves when these power-ups are coming up. Look at Formal, he's hungry. He wants to take any battle he can with this overshield. He's not gonna let it happen. No, absolutely not. Ryan Noob starting to ring around the Rosie, but it's not gonna happen to Formal. He keeps him in his sights the whole time as he jumps around and then taps him with the heat wave. But I tell you what, 99 players out of 100, I think Ryan Noob gets away with that. You call it ring around the Rosie? I'm thinking of the algorithm uh, from... You're thinking of the hangover, hangover meme. I got you, that's I'm exactly. running around. He was running it, for sure. Cranking algorithms throughout <laughs> his head. And Formal was just watching him run in a circle. <laughs> Formal is like, absolutely not. I've been playing against Ryan New for too many years. I know exactly what this is all about. And you know, it's kind of stuff. funny. Those two players really have the same generation. You know, if you think yeah. about both players really making a name for themselves in the world of competitive FPS, really at the height of Halo Reach. And of course, both of them have built quite a career. Uh, nice to see a joust between those two, but as we jump back in the gameplay, 41 to 25 now. Things still pretty close here in game number four. Yeah, much better job by Shopify, even though they've given up every single power-up throughout this game, to Ooh. stay in this game, unlike the Strongholds, right? Overshield can be so effective if used correctly, Ooh. but Shopify are doing a good job now with power weapons in hand. That Heat Wave doing a good job to try and deny this push towards the nest. Unfortunately, doesn't expect that snipe to be used by Trippy. And now Trippy gets the power in his hands. Three go down for Shopify. The ball gets played, but it is just an 11 point game, like you said. Nice stuff here from Trippy as well. Ryan New, by the way, winning the second battle between the two players. He's going win that one with the Heat Wave as those weapons exchange hands. Trippy hits another body, stays alive. Great work from him. He's also going to repulse up top middle to stay alive and really just running a clinic around this map. It looks so good. Carmela, last player alive. Looks like likely coming in from a scoreboard push, but Trippy just gonna hold and add more time to the board. Here comes the Nest push, but it will mean the 25 point lead for Optic Gaming. Selfless play by Trippy too. He's got the snipe, he's got Heat Wave as well, but he knows that this is great time, efficient time for Optic Gaming to be getting, and that's why he was able to pick up that ball. Unfortunately though, Optic, they go three down. Formal not able to impact any of his teammates combat loops there and because of it he gets put on respawn a little bit later this is going to be a magnificent opportunity now for Shopify Rebellion to take the lead here in round one and great play from Carmeo over the last two minutes or so he was the last player alive he got the overshield he stacks up with his team on sandbags eventually they come back and are now just five points away we could see a lead change here and fantastic stuff as you say clutch from Shopify Rebellion you want to see a stronger setup there though Shopify they got all four members down from Optic Optic come off the break and break that setup in half real quick Carmea forced to play the ball, does a good job of that, but with one kill to his name, you need him to figure out the slaying department in order to stay in this game. What was once gonna be Shopify, like you said, taking the lead is cut short because of how quick Optigar 
But as I say that, a Whoop. phenomenal job by Shopify to get all four dead once again. It's an overkill for Ryan Noob off screen. As you saw, all four drop. And I'm not surprised that before you could even finish that sentence off screen, Ryan Noob picking up all four at once. And that will be a lead change, as you say, for the side of Shopify Rebellion. And Optic now with their backs against the wall. However, they answer back immediately and find themselves three dead. So quite a battle between these two teams so far. Yeah. I mean, every single time either team gets a setup, it's getting broken almost immediately. Whichever team's able to hold the setup, especially as we enter the late game here in round one, that's going to be the team to steal round one. Shopify need this round to stay in the series, I would say. So let's see if they can once again break the setup of Optic. Another lead change. Optic Gaming will now be leading by five points. Rain tries to get away with the overshield. He's unable to do so. He's 12 and 7 in this game. Absolutely popping off. However, Optic Gaming stopped the push. And the last player you want with the overshield, Lucid, one of the best players in the game. Looking to end this round for Optic Gaming. It's poetic, right? You give enough overshields to Optic. This one, it's gonna matter. Lucid finds his eyes, sights under rain. He gets teamwork to take him down. But now, with a numbers advantage to go down for Shopify, Optic swarm the last two. Perfect shots out of Lucid are gonna end round one in Optic's favor. Wow, clinical there from Optic Gaming. In the end, they'll take the first round. The crowd in Charlotte likes what they see. Still rounds to play, however, it's a great late game composure, like we said, from Opti Gaming. That's what we're used to seeing from them, not just in Oddball, but also on Live Fire and typically in the late game overall. As I said, take a look at the scoreboard. Your kill leaders are actually going to be Rain and Ryan Noob at 12. However, they lose the first round. They need to make sure they focus on those rotations, on that objective efficiency. Yeah, a tough first round for Carmeo. Let's see if he can pick it up. And that ball already in Shopify's hands, that bodes well. If you saw this opening strat for Shopify right there, three slid out towards green from A-flat. I have never seen that before. Ryan Noob in his bag once again. Here we go, Ryan Noob, drop shield there. Gonna try to fight the battle at sea. Not easily done here, down from the dummies. He has the height disadvantage, he will fall. Two dead for Ryan, Shopify off the back of that. Rain, though, here in essentially what is a 1v3 at Sandbags. Needs to try to win this one. He actually nopes out, looks for help, and tries to continue pushing. And he does have a little bit of help, and Mental comes in. Great timing there from Rain. Look what happens when you get an overshield. Good things happen. Rain does some great damage, able to stay alive, able to re-engage into a fight, and he continues to go. Two more down. The respawners are staggered now for Optic. The ball gets rotated towards green, and this is once again a phenomenal opportunity for Shopify Rebellion to jump off to an early lead here, and they need to win this round because their backs are against the wall in their winner's bracket. That ball will be played by Mental there. That will reset. However, as you say, 20 points on the board for Shopify early, and their slaying advantage continues to stack as well. Rain is on 15 kills. Also, Ryan Noob on 14 kills yet again, still leading the lobby. They're looking stronger in round number two. However, still quite a way to go. Still. There's so many op uh, opportunities that Shopify Rebellion have had throughout this game so far where they really haven't been able to capitalize in the objective efficiency column. 26 seconds is not a ton for the level of slaying that they've been able to produce so far here in round two. You want to see them pick it up, but unfortunately, as I say that, they're getting mowed down. It's trades across the board, however. Ryan did force to back up, but that ball being down towards scoreboard and this overshield coming up momentarily. This is the moment Shopify need to step up. Great angle there from Ryan Noob. He has help as well. Finishes on Lucid there. A little bit of a windmill. Didn't matter in the Red. end. Trippy is your last player alive. Looks like he's on the sandbags. Fight for the overshield here. Needs to swap. Will get it. It will be popped by Rain. They still have the advantage and they still have the lead. However, the ball will reset, which will force them to maybe slay once or twice more before a grab. Big kills out of Shopify, though. If Optic Gaming win that set of slays and hold a set up there, this round's going to be nearly tied somehow still optic gaming get away with the oddball the efficiency and objective is something that is so difficult to compete with and now rain forced to use this overshield to try and be aggressive and they know exactly where he's coming that overshield nearly wasted and also starts to ask the question at what point do you slowly stop praising optic gaming in a scenario like that and wonder when you have three dead and your last player is trippy you take them down and you have no ball time and optic gaming grabs the ball off the back of their own four dead what mistakes are being made there on the shopify rebellion side will they throw this one away they still lead but as you can see not for long another lead change optic gaming will lead for the first time in round number two and they look good doing it. Trippy backing up, staying alive, just anchoring the scoreboard position. Maybe not the most ideal setup you want right here with the ball and cuts. We'll see how Shopify can break this, but Formal breaks. Oh! Plus, the Shopify can't line up the triple, but the damage has been done. And you have to think, 
Shopify are gonna have to figure out a way to kill the rest of Optic. They do so, but that ball being rotated denies any of the slays that we just witnessed. And what do we say? Optic Gaming will be one step ahead of you on the rotations. That was three dead for Optic. We cut to their POV, it's only Lucid. He's fully rotated the ball away, truly putting on a beautiful effort there, waiting for his teammates to spawn around B and around House. They will, and Optic Gaming will maintain the lead. If you're on Shopify Rebellion, you cannot allow the last player alive to get away with those rotations. You have to figure out a way to cut him off faster because what Lucid does is he gives his teammates the respawns close to him, and you're going to have to go from three sets of kills to about eight sets of kills in order to try and break the setup. Optic Gaming have blown this round two wide open, now up 40, although Shopify Rebellion had every overshield in this round. Quite a contrast there from the last game that we saw when every camo went in the hands of Optic Gaming and what felt like, due to the slaying control, felt like free camos as well. However, as you say, it's a very different story in our game number four. It's great control of the power-ups. Not yet the scoreboard, though, for Shopify Rebellion. Three dead, a little bit of overshield still for Ryan Noob as well. Okay, so they're going to have to rotate this ball to green. He's stuck pillars right now, and Optic's come off respawn. They're going to have an opportunity to cut this ball off before it can get to green. These kills are massive from Ran and Carmea. Great damage out of Ryan Noob right now, but he needs to stay alive. Tries to land a death stick right there. That would have been something special. Unfortunately, narrowly misses, and now it's up to the rest of Shopify to try and hold this as long as they can before Ryan can spawn up. Mental A is going to drop the ball. He will play it a double kill on the other side for Lucid. will give them the two-man advantage momentarily. However, this game is essentially tied at 60 in round number two. Still anyone's round. You got to step it up, and Carmea starting to pick up a few more kills than he's had in the first couple moments of the second round and all of round one right now. But as Lucid verifies that no one's going to be moving that ball, he takes his eyes off of it for just a second, and that's when Ryan Noob tries to rotate it. But a great job by Optic Gaming to shut that rotation down. And this is where Optic Gaming are going to oh, thrive. Right. They yeah. get a few kills, the ball's being rotated for them. And if they can get this ball to tower, they can gain a lead that's going to push Shopify's Rebellion's hand onto the table. Surprised to see that from Shopify. You could tell by the way that Carmea went for the ball. They did not know they were getting pinched from bottom middle and back tower. Really a little bit of a careless effort there in the end, but however, likely due to a lack of communication and knowledge about the opponent's positioning there, that's really the only way that a play like that would develop. Formal picks up another kill on Carmea from the cuts, now leading 66-58. This looks like an Optic Gaming overshield as well, with three dead for Shopify. Yeah, this is where your tournament really gets decided if you're Shopify. You're in winner's bracket still back against the wall. This overshield being used perfectly to rotate the ball, but now Lucid's going to say, hey, I want to create some space with this bad boy, so what can he find with this SM? You hear the cock of that sniper rifle. It's dangerous. He picks up another one there, and you never want to. Oh, he's hitting everything, anything that moves. It's a double kill for Lucid on the home stretch. He wants to close this out here and now. Make it a triple kill for Lucid. Four dead for Ooh. Shopify Rebellion. Almost turns it over on the spawn. Ooh, so much pressure with this S7. Finds three, basically rewards his team. The final moments of this game four, and this series is going to be an all she wrote here momentarily. Ryan Noob trying to get to that ball carrier. They do force the play, heads up play by APG. But right now, Shopify going to have to find some slaves that they just can't in the kill speed. Oh boy, picks up another one here for Trippy, and that's a nice cautionary play ball there from APG. Absolutely love that. They could have maybe tried to rotate and get away with it, but they'll pick up a few more slaves as well. Three points to go. Killing spree there on screen for Trippy. That will be it. Optic Gaming will take the series in a dominant fashion in the end. Quite an incredible team that we are seeing before us there, and of course, that's going to be all she wrote for Rebellion. They're going to be knocked down to the elimination bracket where they will have to fight for their tournament lives. And it's all to play for for Optic. They find themselves